Hi everybody and welcome to the Stadio Olimpico, it's me Dov, I was here covering the game for Forza Italian Football, Juventus are the 2017 Coppa Italia winners, a 2-0 victory over Lazio, Daniel Vez and Leonardo De Bucci. I assume you watched the game so you've seen the goals, you've seen what happened, just a quick kind of reaction after the match, I thought that particularly kind of the first 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes when Juve got their two goals, it really was an onslaught. Um, Lazio just couldn't live with the team. Every time Juventus looked like they were looked like they were going to score every time they went forward. Paolo Dybala in particular was fantastic. He had like two or three shots um, that were saved by the Lazio goalkeeper and then obviously uh, Alexandro with the two assists and that Dani Alves goal was absolutely fantastic. It really was. He's really stepped up in the last few weeks of the season and, and kind of the big games when you would expect him to. Talking to a few of the people in the stadium, a few of the other journalists, I mean, a lot of them were really quite disappointed in the way that Lazio played. They would have thought that this being a cup final, Lazio's only chance of silverware this season, that they'd maybe have came into and, and made a better go of things. But I think I think that that's a bit unfair to Lazio because for, for me, Juventus were just a step a step above. I mean, Lazio a few times they did get behind Keita, particularly the I think it was like the first five minutes hit the post. And then there were a couple of chances more towards the end of the second half when Juventus pretty much um, had the game in the bag and sat back and countered a lot. But I mean, every single time Juve went on the counter attack, it looked like they were, they were almost going to score. I think Lazio will be a bit disappointed. They didn't create as much, but I think you've got to give all the credit to Juventus who were just unassailable, really, and, and their dominance um, over, over Lazio. Picking out a few players, I mentioned the, the two that really impressed me. First one was Paulo Dybala, who was amazing, really was. Every time he touched the ball, got on the ball, it looked like he was going to create something, or he did create something for Juve. Dani Alves down the right wing, got his goal and really kind of dominated that side as well. For me, those were the two players who were Juve standouts and then kind of helped them. To, to get that, that Coppa Italia victory. The defence, obviously, is the UV defence. It doesn't concede goals, it didn't concede any tonight. Neto made a few a few saves that really, really you would expect him to make. Um, there was maybe a couple of opportunities that Chiro Immobile had where he could have done better with his finishing, but I think Neto, you can't fault him as little as he did have to do. I would say um, Lazio's goalkeeper, he was a bit more shaky, flapped at a lot of crosses parried a lot of balls where you maybe expect him to, to catch it or parried it out to Juventus players which was something obviously he'll, he'll look at after the game and be a bit disappointed by. So next up for Juve obviously yeah, they've got one one win in the next two Serie A games and they win Serie A so that's pretty much a given with Crotone Bologna and then on to Cardiff for the Champions League. Remember as well people if you do want to help us out link below we've got Patreon, Facebook, Twitter get in touch with us what did you think of the game? Who was your stand? Who was who was your stand-up player? Who was your man of the match for Juve and for Lazio? Let us know in the comments below.